Uh, I just kept making jokes until people realized I wasn't joking. <laughs> Keep me Hey, what's up you guys? It's Miles. Before we get to the gay shit, I have a quick announcement. My Depop is finally live. Our boy has risen. If you don't know what Depop is, it's basically a big internet garage sale where I'm not just selling clothes. I'm selling clothes you've seen in videos before. I'm selling clothes that you may have hugged while I was on tour. I'm also selling clothes that no one else has ever seen before. I created designs in Photoshop. And I hand screen printed them on sweatshirts, shirts, you name it. Actually, that's, that's just it. I, I just named it. Also, I've got my old binders on there for one dollar. If you want to support or just check it out, link will be at the top of my description box. And yeah, I'm super jazzed. Okay, back to the gay shit. Here's your coming out stories. Uh, Hello! I wrote I'm gay on top of my piano in dust. You wrote I'm gay on top of your piano in dust. That is like some James Charles head ass. <laughs> I just imagine you like sitting at your piano like Hey yeah yeah bom, 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 bom. I made a shirt for my brother that said everyone thought I'd be the gay cousin and a shirt for me that said I ended up being the gay cousin. Put them in rainbow packaging and opened them both on Christmas. That's how I came out to my extended family. I think it's really cool. It's just really cool. Okay, cool. So I came out to my homophobic mother's side of the family yesterday by writing a note with bathtub crayons in the shower. I just imagine like your homophobic like extended family like going naked in the shower and seeing some gay shit written on the wall. They scream and cover up like <laughs> I posted a picture of a really straight banana captioned this banana is so straight unlike me lol and that was that I just like cried <laughs> I don't know how you guys are so baller, but like I just cried and then like being told to leave that was it That's the whole coming out. Okay I've come out so many times in my life But when I came out as gay like five years ago I made cupcakes and decorated them in rainbow frosting and then wrote I'm gay on them Then I left the house and waited for my parents to see them I was too scared to come home when they found the cupcakes. I love that a confectionery coming out I feel like there should be a BuzzFeed video about your story My coming out definitely would have been on BuzzFeed unsolved But instead of there being like a ghost it was just like gay fear so I came out in English class last year to a kid because I said that I would play Romeo because no one else wanted to anyway and he was like that's a little bit transgender and I was like I'm a little bit transgender I came to school next week in the guy's uniform and everything well maybe I'm a little bit I love that lol my mom read my journal I was so afraid my parents finding like my gay tumblr back in like 2012 when I came out of school, I felt so relieved. Everyone was extremely confused. <laughs> Shit. But once they understood my name change, everyone was really supportive. Coming out in your school is a different battle for everyone because everyone's school district is different. Some kids go to religious schools. Some kids have grown up in areas where everyone has known them their entire lives. If I had to give advice to anyone coming out at school, I would find one teacher. Doesn't matter if you have them at a class. Doesn't matter if they're actually a counselor. Like some adult person who works at the school who is an ally that you can come out to and they're like, yes, this name change. Yes, these pronouns. Like whatever it is. If it was me, I wouldn't want to go to all my teachers like in person and be like, here's me coming out. Uh, Cause that's stressful. <laughs> I would honestly just do an email chain with all my teachers and I would CC that one supportive teacher and be like, hello, a human that's an adult that works with you that's gonna hold you accountable and be like, here's the tea, here's who I am. If you can call me by this name and these pronouns in class, like I'm going through this, here's what's up. I think coming out in school is really just about communication. And if your school is not receptive, I would honestly call my local LGBTQ plus center and just tell them what's going on and see if they can't come to my school, talk to my school, be a part of an email chain, like whatever it is. So utilize your resources and your community. Because they're there to support you. Honestly, message me. <laughs> Should I make a video about that? Should I just like get numbers to schools of kids who are like trying to come out, but their environment is like really unsupportive? And I'll just like call your school for you and like be your older brother. Or like act like your parent and be like, here's the tea. Support my child. His name is Tyler and he will be respected in chem class. Should I do that? Because like I literally will. <laughs> I came out at a Wendy's drive-thru. That's it. I'd like a number four and also testosterone. I low-key haven't come out yet, so that's big fun. I told my mom about my dysphoria and broke down crying. Flash forward to a few months and everyone in my house, seven other people, gradually are calling me by my preferred name and they don't know the reasoning behind it, they just do. I love that. I don't understand when like being self-aware and like knowing what you like and knowing what you dislike became something negative or something to ridicule someone for, especially a kid, but like go off moms and dads. I love the idea of not being like, I'm trans, but being like, this is how I feel. This is how I want to present myself. This is how I feel when you call me this or you say that or someone looks at me in a certain way. And sort of breaking it down and explaining it instead of just being Here's like- Here's a word. <laughs> when I first ever came out, it was with my sexuality and like the biggest pet peeve, like what I hated was that no one asked me if I liked anything. 
anyone. It was just automatically so negative. It was automatically against God. I was like thrown like so many different Bible verses. Not once did someone ask me like, did you kiss anyone yet? I feel like just explaining where you're coming from and not just like putting so much weight into one word humanizes everything. I came out with a meme. Everyone came out with a meme. Never came out. My parents are just super cool about stuff like this. So I talked to them the whole time I was figuring it out. See, that's what I want. <laughs> See, I wish the things that made me me weren't seen as things that made me different and people didn't try to change me or like sway what was happening. I wish when I wanted to cut my hair short when I was five, I was just like allowed to. And when I started having crushes on girls, I would just be like allowed to. And I have to like bottle that shit. Cause like, damn, bold of you to assume I'm out. I told my friends and they said that they'd keep it a secret and then they told their friends and those friends told another one of my friends and I just found this out today. So that's fun. Shit. I was at a restaurant and saw this gay meme and I laughed hella hard and my mom looked at my phone and she was like, are you gay? And I was outed by a meme. I mean, yeah. There were so many times where I'd be like watching TV and like some gay shit would come or up. Or just like someone really attractive that like I wasn't allowed to be attracted to <laughs> would just like come up and I would like make a comment and everyone would just like, I never actually came out. All my family's gaydar is just too good to even ask me. They just know. <sighs> See, that's what I thought. Looking back, it's like, Obviously, apparently, everyone was shocked. <laughs> like, when I came out to my music teacher in 12th grade, after having them for five years, I played this song that I wrote for composition. It was about my gender identity, but in a discreet tone. After they asked me, may I ask how you identify? And I told them trans masculine. Right after that, they told me that they were trans feminine. That is so crazy, coming out to someone and then coming out to you. I did the press twist, pull my finger thing on TikTok and said that I'm pan on my palm. You're gonna tell this to your kids. I came out with a TikTok meme and they're gonna be like, isn't that just like me? Musically, and you're gonna be like, no, actually, I mean, it's sort of, but it's kind of, it's kind of different. Like, how do you know about this? So I texted my dad a huge paragraph on Snapchat. Your dad's on Snapchat? Explaining that I was a lesbian, and then he replied, I know, boys are stupid anyways. And I've been out since October, and he laughed at my gay jokes, and he bought me a lesbian flag for a panic at the disco. Shit. I think this is the dream situation for everyone that follows me. What? <laughs> I came out before I even really knew what being trans was. I just knew that I was a boy, and one night just sat down with my mom and just said that, and we both kind of discovered being trans was actually a thing together, and I was like, damn, that's what I am. That's great. That's super cool. We have a hill at our school that people call Lesbian Hill. And during senior prank week, they put a sign on it saying Lesbian Hill and all the gays went on it. And that's how I came out to my whole school. Yes! Now that's the gay agenda if I've ever seen it. My mom told me it's a phase and this is the longest 15 year phase of my life. I came out to my mom at a Panic at the Disco concert after Girls, Girls, Boys. I remember blasting that song in the car with like family members and just sadly being like, I told my dad that I like girls and he responded, hey, that's cool, me too, and then we high-fived. That's the most dad. I wrote both my parents' letters because I had too much anxiety to say it to their face, and while we were walking on eggshells for a while, and them being Mormon made it hard for them to accept me for a long time. But now we're in a really good place and they helped me come out to my siblings and other family members. It gets better, kiddos. As much as I think like we're all brainwashed where like it takes time to like really figure out your identity in a world that tells you that these identities are either wrong or doesn't show it to you so like you don't even know that it exists or the language to put to how you're feeling. I think it goes both ways too with like parents, people who are unsupportive. A lot of our parents grew up during the AIDS epidemic. They had a lot of propaganda thrown at them. Sometimes it just takes time for the people that love you to understand everything. And sometimes it doesn't. Like everyone's situation is just different. I told my dad that I was trans at Hooters. I came out to my best friend who had come out a couple months before and then I thought it was in confidence but he told his parents that told mine and then he believed me for two years and they still don't really think of me as their son. I was out and accepted completely at my school though way before I was at home. So I hung out with my friends a lot and withdrew from my family. It was hard on our relationships because for the first time I felt like my parents weren't on my side. The damage that it did to my trust in them is huge, even now. And they've been using the right name and pronouns for over a year and a half. I love them a lot, but I just don't feel comfortable talking to them about my life and my problems when so much of it connects back to my trans identity. And I know that that's still hard for them to accept. That's tea. Yeah, I mean, I've dealt with that a lot where I was a very, very dependent person and a very, I think, codependent person before I came out. Advice that I give, and it sounds cheesy, but it's like no matter what happens, the fact that you know who you are is the most important thing. Because at the end of the day, you're only gonna have you. What do you believe in? Who are you? That's what we learn as we get older. As you figure out who you are, you're gonna find other like-minded people, you're gonna have that support in that community, and you're gonna grow with that. And people from your family will either get on the train with you or you're gonna leave them at the 
station. But you have to go and get your life. I didn't get a chance to come out when I was ready. My parents found my pride flag. <laughs> Guys, my camera's gonna die, but that's the video for today. Comment down below your coming out experiences if you want to share with the class. Like this video if you want me to do this again. Okay, I love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye. Miles.